let us introduce the man himself, the yes. original Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Malabrea or Simon, I you know he's not only going to be the the ninong of our children, but kamera magdi ninong sa sa future kasal niya, di ba? But seriously, yung bigat nito, he's a T O Y M, hindi lang T O Y M or top ten outstanding young men of the Philippines, pero of the world pa. Wow, di ba? Jerry Rojas Leadership Award, yun. Um, and also, of course, he is the founder and chairman and senior tax advisor of the Asian Consulting Group. Yun. Tapos, dami niya mga introduce na advocacy really to make things simplified, di ba? <clears throat> Let me read what's, ano, ito. Nakalagay dito. I love this. Eh. The Asian Consulting Group is the premier social enterprise for strategic tax advisory and the tax hub for SMEs in the Asia Pacific. Okay, mm -hmm. ito pa. It offers a game-changing strategy that promotes a tax-free lifestyle, a lifestyle not necessarily free from taxes, but rather free from the unnecessary burden of taxes due to penalties and compromises. So, unnecessary yung keyword. Mm -hmm. All right. So, parimon, start na tayo. Before we ask uh, some of the questions, can we ask you, naman, paano ka naging tax whiz? Anong, what is the story behind the tax whiz? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Ninong, Ninang. Grabe, <laughs> 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 oh, tagal na nun, more than, more than two years na yata yun, or three years. Wala pa rin. Anyway, um, it all started with actually with the fear. Diba? Lahat tayo takot sa taxes. When I was studying taxes, ganun din yung feeling ko. At takot ako matawag sa recitation. Hindi ko alam if our viewers can relate. Pero mm. hindi ako yung tao na magaling mag-memorize or mm. confident kapag recitation. So takot ako sa taxes when I was studying it. When I started working, parang pag tax yung usapan, people just either ignore it or become quiet. Parang no comment na... Or it's some it's like a taboo na ayaw pag-usapan kasi baka andyan na si BIR or ikasuhan ka, etc. So when I got that opportunity na, na to study the system, the bureaucracy, the corruption, this was actually my paper sa grad school ko sa Ateneo um, Graduate School. Okay. Um, so sakto lang din, uh, our former finance secretary, Jesse Stanislaw, asked me if I want to help the good governance project that they have. And unfortunately, during that time, walang insiders sa BIR. So they needed somebody who will really immerse himself in the yeah. system. Eh, alam mo, ninong, ninong, broken-hearted ako nun. Eh. <laughs> so parang ang feeling ko, I needed a destruction or parang I, I suddenly lost uh, purpose or meaning. Na parang kang you're, you're trying to find yourself. Right. Sabi ko, aba, baka ito yung magandang destruction or preoccupation, di ba? Pakialaman natin ang problema ng corruption, <laughs> ng bureaucracia. And <laughs> enough, almost two years in the bureaucracy, I, for, I, I totally forgot about my pain. Kasi wow. na-expose ako dun sa pain ng mga taxpayers araw-araw, dun sa, sa mga kwento at first hand, as in actual, nakikita ko naglalagayan or mm. naiiyak na yung taxpayers and yet pinipiga pa ng examiner and all. And mm. that was for almost two years, R.D. Wow. and Miriam. Every day. Of course, other than Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And would you believe it na talagang napapadasal ako every time na ako mismo aalukin ng lagay. So in wow. short, it's really in the system. You cannot just blame the examiner na corrupt sila because yeah. all those who do not want to pay taxes would also resort to under the table. So, bakit tax whiz? Because nobody is asking questions. Nobody would want to address the problem. It's like it needed a magical potion or a, a, a sort of a wizard para ma-unlock or ma-demystify ma, ma yung, yung darkness ng taxes. And it actually started with a, with a featured article from Manila Bulletin that they called me whiz kid. Parang... I had dinner, hindi ko alam na ano pala siya, writer, editor, etc. Then she just decided to write about me. You know, I met this, uh, uh, I call him Whiskey because all so of my questions... Blind date mo dati? Blind date mo to? <laughs> no! <laughs> so she's married, R.D. <laughs> so parang, 
parang ano talaga um, ninong ninang parang ganito lang talaga yan hindi blind date so it was just a, a, a friendly dinner and uh, knowing myself dahil teacher ang background ko talagang pag tinanong mo ako sagot ako ng sagot minsan nga sabi nga ni Tito Boy ako yung okay. pag-inest mo isang tanong lang buong episode na puno mo na <laughs> she enjoyed it so she wrote an article about me with kid pero hmm. sabi ni ng ating secretary mo Lopez pwede ni kid dapat tax whiz Mm. At doon nag-evolve. Wow. So, Hanggang sa nagkaroon kami ng art ng book na naging bestseller, yes. got a question about taxes, ask the tax fees. So that's where it started. Yun lang. Wow. Galing. And people just started calling me tax fees. <laughs> And how many books since that first book have you written? Huh? Um, seven. Seven titles. Wow. Yeah. So nagkaroon na iba't ibang version. Matatawa ka, meron kaming book uh, R.D. Miriam, ang title, Vat Ganon. Oo nga. Bakit ako may tax? Oh, meron din kaming comics. Meron din kaming tax uh, handbook na BIR mismo ang nag-distribute. And of course, uh, yung uh, bestseller natin na publish ng EBS-CBN, ito yung Iwas Buisit. So, mm. all those things, parang ang, ang naging objective lang niya is not really to write a book, right. but to... Uh, picture or uh, uh, paint a picture, a different picture about taxes. Right. Na talagang relevant sa'yo, may matututunan ka, hindi ka matatakot, hindi siya tax code or hindi siya book talaga na babasahin mo word for word, page per page. Hindi. Hmm. So yun. Kaya yung latest book ba by ABS-CBN, magazine type na siya. Wow. Na puro, puro infographics na makukulay na. Imagine na, on taxes. Okay. Diba? So that's how it evolved. Yeah. And you have popularized, I mean, congratulations, um, when you popularize the subject of tax and also ease the pain point. I say, and you have Nadine Lustre, you have all these celebrities backing you up and making the subject of tax more palatable. Palatable and even mm-hmm. sexy, di ba? Parang... Oo naman, with Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> di ba? Ang tunay na pogi, R.D. Roberto. Di ba? Di ba? I mean... It's all because of people like you who trusted me and who gave me uh, that ano, parang space na, na it's not all about technicalities. It's really yes. being a good Filipino na trying to understand this will make will help us become better citizens. So, yeah, and thank you guys. Maraming salamat. It's an honor to be part of the ambassador, celebrity ambassadors of ACG. Siyempre, hindi kami makakayindi sa iyo, no? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Really, it's what you're doing really really answers a major pain point in the life of entrepreneurs, of, you know, men and women. Kahapon, it was International Women's Day. So this oh, yeah. is dedicated to the mompreneurs, especially who are out there trying to make a living, trying to really make kayod. And then uh, we have a friend that kayod siya ng kayod na, you know, she had a food business. Tapos at the end of the day, lahat lang kita niya, kinain lang ng, ano, ng taxes, ng penalties, ng you know, what I saw. I think, yun, masakit talaga, masakit. So, yun. So, we want to ask you some questions, okay? Sure. Huh? Okay. Pwede na. Number one, kamusta naman ang love life? <laughs> joke, joke. Joke lang. Next episode na yun. <laughs> Next episode. Okay, oh, tayo na. Okay. <laughs> tayo sa- so, ano ba? Ninong, ninang, iwas buisit muna. <laughs> Wisit ba yun ni Love Life? Hindi, yung sagot. Wala. Yung wisit. Pandemic kasi na sobrang sa social distancing. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, pero seriously, Mon, where, where is the BIR headed? Ano bang direction niya itong fear the pandemic? Should we fear more or fear less? You know what? Because of the pandemic, it's really a blessing in disguise, I must say. Oh. that BIR was forced to mm. really uh, expedite automation, digital transformation, which is something that we've been discussing like for 10 years now. But yeah. because of the pandemic, all of a sudden, pwede na palang email, pwede na palang mobile app, pwede na palang uh, uh, electronic uh, e-appointment na lang, pwede na palang hindi photocopy yung mga dam- da- dami-dami mga dokumento, and mm. so on and so forth. So, and ngayon, kakalunch lang nila yung team verifier na you can really validate kung tama yung TIN or kung ano yung TIN mo. Kasi before, you have to go to the district. At kung ikaw ay na-register sa Baguio, 
at nandito ka sa Manila, you have to travel all the way to Baguio just to find out kung ano yung pin mo kasi na other BIR offices will not accommodate you. But now, there is already a mobile app to verify it. And of course, our, our own version of the app, Taxes Page app, you can already file your taxes using the app. So in short, the direction of BIR is exactly what we've been dreaming for the longest time. Contactless. Nah. Meaning you can really do your compliance without going to BIR. You can do your compliance without all the photocopy of all the documents and all. So, which to me is not just amazing. It's long overdue. It's amazing. And I hope our con Yes, long overdue. Alam mo, Ninong Ninang, na ang talagang sana, sana kung may nakikinig sa atin or makakapanood nito na namang babatas, lawmakers, senators, and congressmen, they really have to double, triple the budget of BIR. Because we need to hire more technocrats, more honest and competent professionals who will collect the right taxes for us. The more that we lower their budget, the more that they will make money under the table. And we have to strengthen the law that will really imprison, put people behind bars, those who will violate and accept under the table. That's the only way to really address all the problems. Automate and end corruption. But uh, isn't that happening already, Mon? Diba na, na meron naman na prosecute? Uh, no, merong nakakasuhan. Yes. Walang like, nakukulong. Walang nakukulong. Yung iba tumatakbo pa sa Congress at sa Senate. Mm. Wala pa nakukulong. Okay. That's why what I'm saying is, and I'm really praying na that the law will really give us justice. Na for almost all of us, especially the millions of employees, diba, R.D. Miriam, mm. wala namang choice eh. My mom retired working like every payday. Kaltas na yung tax niya. Mm. She never had a choice. And yet, some of us are literally violating or evading our tax obligation. So, it's really ano, two, two prong or two, uh, two aspects. Eh. One is on the part of taxpayers that we really do our share. But at the same time, on the part of the government to really simplify lower taxes para naman hindi burdensome. Diba? And at the same time, talaga mawala yung gray area that will encourage corruption. Right. Well, well I thought kasi, di ba, at the beginning of the when Duterte started, there was some kind of fear, di ba? Parang... I understood that medyo nag naglay low yung mga yung corruption dahil natakot pero are you saying na it's back to normal? No, it's not it's not that it's back to normal. It's just that uh it's not yet uprooted. Kumbaga nandun pa rin siya and we really have to find a way to kill it. <laughs> Hindi kasi siya mawawala if we do to me for me this is uh, just for me. Com uh, um corruption is not something that you cannot you can just wash out. Corruption hmm. is something that you need to compete. You need to have revolution, a cultural revolution. If you do not hmm. offer alternatives to people, don't expect them to be saints the following day. Right. It has been their lifestyle. There oh. should be either a threat or a benefit or incentive for them to go your way. Right. Diba? And what is the, way, the right way? It's to really be honest, to be transparent. Hmm. And that's something that we all deserve and that we all long for. Except that the, the, it's not, the, the environment is not yet uh, suitable for that. Diba? Na yung mga nandadaya andyan pa rin. Diba? Yung mga nagbabayad, nahaharas pa rin, natatakot pa rin. And that's why we need to empower our people. And education is key. What you are doing is exactly what we need. We need to reach out to more people. We need to discuss it in a less technical, less traumatic manner. We need to really make people feel and understand that this is our obligation. We need to understand it and we need to find ways to, to really comply so right. that we will not be harassed or we will not be penalized in the long run. I know. Yeah, I mean, the more we educate people, the less uh, fearful seguro they will be and that's why we're exactly. doing so. I agree. So, but with the digitization right now and less contact, has, uh, would you say that uh, less corruption because of the digitization right now? Well, I, what I can say is uh, at least more than 90% of compliance is now online. That's a huge, it's mm. literally a leapfrog from, mm. from the manual and the, the queuing, mm. uh, fixer, handing mm. one document to another or sinising it dahil may kakilala o naglagay, may nakaipit na limandaan. Now mm. it's online. So yes. I think it, in a way, it, in a way it, uh, it, this, uh, it, uh, it became a disruption. So yes. corruption, diba? <laughs> Pero yung sabihin mong na-alleviate or natanggal yung corruption, value system pa rin yun eh. 
if mm. people will not be threatened and if people are will decide to be dishonest. I don't think change in system or automating it will automatically remove it. Dapat talaga may law that will uh, stop them or prevent them from doing that. So I'm not saying na hindi na wala or I'm not saying na lumala or bumalik sa dati but what I'm saying is maraming nagbago, maraming nag-improve mm-hmm. pero hindi natin masasabi na automatic nag-stop yung corruption because the president uh, is rallying behind this uh, reform. It has to in- involve all of us. I, I always say this, uh, no reform is easy. And reform includes all of us. Hindi pwedeng government lang, hindi pwedeng si Tax Swiss lang or si RD or si Miriam lang. Dapat lahat tayo. Attitude, uh, commitment, compliance, uh, all those things are important. Yeah. Actually, lately, natutuwa ako kasi we've been paying our VAT through GCash. You know, yeah. it's so convenient. Uh, tapos I downloaded na the, the Tax Swiss app. Wow, thank okay, you. So, Imagine, oh. di ba? GCash na lang dati. Oh. Mag-checking ka pa. Alam mo ba... Uh, ni nang Miriam, may experience pa kami na nagkamali ng payee. Alam. And napakalaki nung amount. Lagot. So, if, if, if it was not settled immediately, 25% ang surcharge just because nagkamali o nagbura at hindi tinanggap ng banko. Imagine those hassles. Yeah. And yeah. it happened for the longest time. But yeah. now, like our, what Ardy was saying, Gcash, hmm. Paymaya or whatever other course, credit card, debit card, Hmm. Sabi ko nga sana, dumating yung point, kahit saan na lang, huwag nang choosy. Kung pwede sa, sa store, kung pwede, di ba? I mean, exactly. If we can all do uh, social media and all, but hindi hmm. pwede sa chat, but hindi pwede sa uh, di ba, ATM or whatever. So, I hope, yun din yung maging direction na na kung baka pwede din ng mga ano na rin, ang tawag doon, yung mga points. O, oh, di ba? Mga points, points, puso nga yun yan. I mean, we have to be more creative then. Sana hindi masyadong uh, close-minded din. And, and this requires, siyempre, leadership. Na sana yung susunod na presidente will also continue that pattern na na dapat doon tayo sa ano, digital world na, digital economy na. Uh-huh. Hindi na yung uh, brick and mortar and uh, bureaucratic way na dapat may papel, stapler, ipopotocopy, gawa ng cheque, voucher pa, kuya. Eh bako lang ng pirma, balik mo 'yan. Ha? Ay, mga puno. <laughs> Oo, oh, exactly, 'di ba? Ang daming matutulungan or ang daming uh, positive impact That's ng right. automation. Pero mom, before I ask you a question, a lot of the people uh, who are here listening right now na sumali sa meeting na 'yon are here because they have either some pain points or problems, like na kuha ng LOI. Pero Uh, before I ask that question about how to prevent getting a love letter from the BIR or LO, LOI, can you answer muna? Kasi natutuwa ako na, na ikaw, ACG, has actually had a partnership with the BIR that you're working yes. hand-in-hand with Commissioner Dulay. So doon ako natutuwa. Maybe you can tell uh, those who are watching right now you know, what, what's happening, what you're doing. Yeah, it's actually a love-hate relationship. It started with hate. <laughs> that for For almost 10, 10 years, alam niya yan, that, that, that they despise me, they hate me for my guts, for all my interviews, especially with Tito Boy, every time we talk about corruption. Uh, I was, I'm always brutally honest that there's so much corruption and that if, if we need to abolish BIR, imagine that two years ago I was talking, I was proposing to abolish BIR and now we are the official partner of BIR and in fact, I host their online program on Facebook. Bureau of Internal right. Revenue Philippines. That's every Monday. Imagine that. Uh, the, the public enemy number one is now the host of their online program. How did it start? When uh, Commissioner Bini Dulay was appointed as um, commissioner at the start of the uh, presidency of, uh, of President Rodrigo Duterte, I was one of those shortlisted to be uh, uh, appointed, included in the BIR. But I, I refused and I told them that I would be glad to help. Uh, I don't expect and I don't want any appointment. And uh, the commissioner trusted me because he was reading my articles even before he was appointed. So mm-hmm. nakatulong pala yung mga pabulag-blag ko pa article-article because he was one of those who was actually right. following it. So And uh, I was also able to help his son. So merong goodwill na from the start. And he said, would you like to help me? Yes, of course, but uh, on a personal capacity and as an advocate. I don't want an appointment. And two years after um, 
it he, he probably realized that I was sincere and honest na I never asked for anything. I did not ask for appointment. I did not ask for, for projects or contracts in BIR. In fact, everything that I did was for free. It was really advocacy-led. Uh, so when he realized that I was doing online stuff during the lockdown, we discussed if BIR can do an uh, online uh, show where they can answer questions. Because one of the criticisms is that BIR doesn't know how to answer questions. Pag tumawag ka, iba-iba yung sagot. Uh, it's just like nakakatakot silang kausapin. Lagi kang ipe-penalize na and all. So sabi ko, well, if I will be the host, I'll be the face of that show, I guess that would send a clear message to everyone. Because I'm your biggest critic. So if I become the host, I think that would do favor to you. So why not? Uh, why don't we try it? So we started it, um, um, discussing it uh, late last year. And uh, ito na nga. Every Monday, tum- uh, nirarang na siya, 3 p.m. Uh, nung pinako si Cristo, ay pinako si Mon Abrea sa BIR as host. <laughs> so, and it's exciting, uh, um, R.D. Miriam, because BIR officials are joining the show. Nice. So it's not just me talking or answering mm-hmm. questions. They are the ones who are answering mm-hmm. questions from the viewers, mm-hmm. from social media. And this is the first time that it ever happened, that they're very open for criticism, uh, complaints, questions, recommendations. So, and true enough, as co-chair ng ease of paying uh, taxes, part of the anti-red, uh, tape, uh, anti-red tape authority, whatever concerns or complaints, ina-address kagad. So, the show is now more relevant kasi hindi lang siya dal-dal. So, pag may reklamo mo si Miriam, may bad experience si RD, immediately it will be addressed. Pag may question, immediately live it will yes. be answered. So, I think uh, that, that made the partnership Yeah. Uh, stronger and mm. it's really founded on advocacy. Walang political agenda, walang business agenda, walang, uh, well, of course, our ambassadors also carry that uh, that uh, badge na if BIR knows, uh, if BIR uh, learns that you are an ambassador, they know that they, you, they, can, you, they can trust you, that you are really talking about or helping people pay the right taxes. Diba? Kasi marami, fixer thing, eh. fixer ang dating na Ah, kilala ko, ako ng bahala dyan. No, no. We, we, we help, we use network, but to really help people pay the right taxes, not to evade taxes. Yeah. Pakiplug naman yung shows if people want to... Uh, yes, to... if you want to watch our show, it's every Monday. BIR in Action, live. Mm-hmm. Hosted by yours truly, Tax Page, Mona Brea. Uh, it's 3 to 4 p.m. sa Bureau of Internal Revenue, Philippines, the official Facebook page of BIR. This is first of its kind and sana tumagal siya kasi maganda din naman yung nagiging uh, partnership namin and they, we get to see the faces behind all these regional directors, uh, RDOs, deputy commissioners. Now, we are seeing their faces and their good hearts okay. as they answer questions, as they respond to our concerns, mm-hmm. as they address our complaints. So, it's really ano, it's really a blessing in disguise. Without this, mm-hmm. if, it, if the pandemic or the lockdown didn't happen, I don't think BIR will be that open. Kasi napilitan din sila to mm-hmm. find a way eh, how to reach out to more people. So, so they can actually, was, people, viewers can actually uh, address a concern or raise a concern live and they yes. will answer it right then and there. Huh? Yes, live na live. That's mm-hmm. every Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's exciting. So ano yun, ano yun na yung tanong? Na, oh, how do you prevent getting a love letter? Kasi yes, yan ang pinaka-fear ng mga entrepreneurs, mompreneurs, entrepreneurs yeah. to get that dreaded I, love letter. I, I would love to receive a love letter from my future wife but <laughs> not from BIR. <laughs> diba? Diba, Nino, Nina? Who would, who would want to receive a letter from BIR? But the truth of the matter, we cannot prevent it. I mean, to, to be categorically correct, mm-hmm. BIR can write anybody a letter. I receive letters from BIR. But the important thing or the next step is what do you do or how do you handle it? Diba? Okay. Kasi I think what you're expecting, uh, the answer that you're expecting from me is once you pay your taxes correctly or you are compliant, you won't get a letter. No, it's a false hope. BIR can just throw letters to anybody. I mean, at random, they choose it. Yes, random. random or their favorite kanila. But the important thing is how you respond. Hmm. What do you do? Diba? Hmm. Kaya ako, uh, during lectures, ang like ko sinasabi dyan, R.D. Miriam, ano mang ginagawa sa letter? Basahin nyo muna. Huwag muna kayong tatawag ng fixer or ng kung sino-sino. Read the letter. Baka mamaya sa tatay mo pala yun, hindi sa'yo. O kaya mali yung address. O kaya 
And, and I'm not kidding. There are a lot of cases na void yung letter. Kasi dapat, oh, uh, LOA, Letter of Authority, or BIR Audit 101. To all our viewers, number one, you should have received the letter within 30 days from the date of the letter. So kapag yung, yung date is January 1, na-receive mo March 1, hmm. that's beyond void. 30 days. Void. Void. Number Ayan two. proof mo. Sorry? Hindi ba sila magpapadala ng follow-up letter? Ano no, the point mo? is, you're the one receiving, R.D. Miriam. Hmm. So kung napadala sa'yo, beyond 30 days, right. sign that, sign, receive it, lagay mo yung date. That in itself hmm. is a proof. It's beyond 30 days. Hmm. Or, don't receive it at all because the date is beyond 30 days. It's your right. And how many taxpayers know that? Hmm. Number two, there should be no erasure. Walang dumi. Hmm. So pag merong, merong napatak na mantika doon or, 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 or ink or whatever, it becomes hmm. void. Kailangan hmm. crystal clear. Malinis. Why? It's an official document. So kung kumain so, na siya, may yung examiner na patak ng suit ng toyo, Boy, yeah. Yeah. Or, or kaya nagbura siya kahit na isang kama lang dinagdag niya that, that makes that official document kasi ang security paper yung gamit eh. hmm. so whatever happens to that piece of paper affects the validity of the document eh para so, yung you should, recipient ang nakaano you should take a video pala parang unboxing video while you're opening the letter <laughs> no, seriously you should take, you should take a video letter. rather than fearing or being afraid of that letter Oh. Make sure you receive it in good condition. Make mm. sure that it's within 30 days. Make mm. sure, Miriam, it's your, the, your name is correct. Mm. Kasi kapag mali din yung pangalan mo, I'm sorry. At talaga, pag may typo, marami pa naman nagkakamali sa pangalan. Eh, sa mga typo. What if yung recipient ang nakastay ng letter na yun? <laughs> sorry, sorry? What if yung recipient <laughs> uh -oh. ang nakastay? Ay, hindi. Kasalanan mo na yun. <laughs> Kasi na-receive mo na before pa nag nangyari. Dapat, nung pinresent sa'yo, dun, dun mo nakita yung blemish and errors or erasures. ba? And, another important thing, guys, mm. yung nagpapareceive, siya yung nasa letter na examiner. Therefore, kapag yung nagpapareceive a driver or sinong poncho pinato, or yung examiner na transfer na sa, sa bundok tralala, mm. that makes the letter of authority or letter void. Wow. Ito yung pinaka-interesting, R.D. Miriam. Sa lahat ng viewers, you can really play with this. Hmm. Only an authorized representative can receive that letter. Hmm. And the authorized representative is authorized through a letter, not through saliva or text. And Meaning, how would you know if you're going exactly, to... Exactly. Other than yourself, hmm. unless you authorize somebody else, he is not authorized. Uh, so if a security guard, uh, a receptionist, or whoever received the letter, you can request for uh, uh, to invalidate the letter. Ganun ka sacred yung letter na yan. That's why I, I was actually wondering, Ardi Miriam, why for the longest time, takot na takot yung mga taxpayers, ay may letter ako, ayoko tignan yan. No, receive, tig, check the letter. For all you know, strike one, strike two, strike three, puro pala. Violation, void pala yung letter. So how do you get it voided if there are violations? How? What do you, you do? One, you don't receive it. Two, if you if you receive it already and that's the only time you realize mali yung examiner or nawala na pala yung examiner do sa district or uh, mali yung address, etc. Uh, return it with a letter stating mm -hmm. that uh, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, it should be uh, void or it's void. Ganun na. Again, it's not, it's not that BIR won't send us a letter because we are good taxpayers. It's what we do when we receive a letter. You know, just to, just to share with our viewers, uh, at the peak of my, my uh, uh, being an advocate where I am seen in all, almost all TV stations and radio programs, I receive a letter from BIR. And all the while, I thought, pinagiinitan ako, aba, may letter ako. But my very lesson or lecture to everyone is to read the letter. So I read the letter even if the rest already open it. So let me get the letter, check the letter. No, this is not a, a regular assessment. They are just asked, they, they, there is an estimated amount, but they are accusing me of not filing the returns. 
But I filed all the returns. I replied. I attached all the returns. They apologized. They called me. <laughs> that there was a, there's something wrong that it should yeah. not be sent to me, etc. But how many of us will respond that way or will react that way? Oh. Diba? When you receive it, because fear takes over, kaga, di ba? You, you start to Therefore, meet. our disposition, our values, our response are the most important things mm -hmm. when we talk about the IR audit. It's mm -hmm. not what other people will say. It's not what the examiner will say. It's not what the commissioner will say. Our disposition, our values, and our response. Like, ako, I can just complain and rant on Facebook, but what help would it do? Right. So read it, understand it, and reply if you can. Mm -hmm. Or if you need to, diba? So, Mon, you have a program, di ba, sa ACG about uh, 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 ETC. ETC, the ETC yes. Experience Circuit. That's oh. also in partnership with BIR. Kasi naisip ko, ang dami-daming association, ang dami-daming clubs, ang dami-daming groups, but parang lahat, wa, uh, parang lahat walang toko sa tax. Parang lahat takot na may tax. So I, I told BIR, okay, I'll, I'll put up a group, an uh, association, a club, or a circle. Ang only objective niya is that we want to be proud taxpayers and we want BIR to recognize us. So mm -hmm. that if you want to prioritize taxpayers na you audit nyo, wag kami. Ganan. Wag kami kasi nga elite kami. That's why it's called elite taxpayer circle. We don't get any exemption, but because of the credibility of the founder and the members and the values that we uphold, in that circle, recognized by BIR, ETC members are in a way given a last priority, but there is no certification, there is yes. no, but there are freebies, free seminars, free consultations, assistance, and all. Really making all of us elite taxpayers, that we are cut above the rest, that we are not the typical taxpayer na natatakot, na i-stress, na bubudol ng kahit sino. So, and the, and the, the good news there is, um, people, anybody can be part of the elite taxpayer circle. And if you invite, if you invite more friends and more taxpayers to join it, you'll get more perks. So, in yeah. they, can, they can visit our Facebook page, Asian Consulting Group. Na kapin yun don, elite taxpayer circle. And I'm telling you, I'm not a good marketing person, but as an advocate, let us be your human shield, mm -hmm. Against adversities, against all lies and corruption. Takot lang nila sa akin. Buong lagot nila sa akin sa interview ko. <laughs> Mon, maiba naman ako. Isang mainit na topic ngayong panahon ng pandemya is online business and online earnings. Online uh, taxation for online businesses. Siyempre, marami ngayon have tried to pivot their businesses diba, to go online. In fact, marami mga mompreneurs are now earning through selling online, different social media platforms, Pero meron ba tayong clear na taxation rule for online earnings? Yes. Yeah, so actually, um, we don't have yet digital tax in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We are still adopting or implementing the existing tax code. And uh, in our tax code, it says all income. So whether it's, that means inclusive, mm -hmm. whether it's online or offline or um, uh, the traditional way, uh, it will be subject to tax. But the good thing is, there are reforms that were enacted. And that includes, if it's below 3 million, you have optional 8%. You don't really need to pay the VAT, the monthly. It's just quarterly, optional 8%. In fact, RD Miriam, sa app, nakalagay din yun. Pwede kang mag-compute ng income tax mo. Pag self-employed ka at 3 million and below lang yung sales mo, kaya na niya compute sa'yo magkani income tax mo. At pwede mo na rin i-file. Gamit din yung app. Libre lahat. App. Yes, libre lahat. But the thing is, paano yun, Miriam? Wala akong accountant. Pag optional 8% ang ginamit mo, hindi mo kailangan ng accountant because you don't need to keep all those receipts. It's 8% quarterly, period. There's nothing to do. Pero yung sinabi mong online sellers, this I have to clarify. Maginaw po sa batas, sa bagong batas na train law na pag hindi mo magpasa 250,000 pesos ang taxable income or profit mo, it's exempted. Ang dami naman, uh, uh, RD Miriam, na million-million o hundred thousand ang nabenta online. Pero ang profit o neto nila, 50,000 lang o 100,000 lang. Then that makes them exempted. Right. 
In short, hindi yung sales mo yung tinatanong. Yung profit mo. Kung yung profit mo, hindi naman pa sa 250,000. Like for instance, yung sinasabi mo mga e-learnings. Ang dami-daming e-learnings, akala mo nakakatipid sila, pero ang dami nilang assistance, ang dami nilang uh, marketing na ginawa, etc. Pag in mo yung cost nila at hindi yung lumagpas ng 250,000 yung profit nila, yung taxable income nila, they are subject to zero tax. It's exempted. Hmm. Kung lumagpas, pero yung sales naman nila or revenues, hindi naman lumagpas ng 3 million, you don't need to fear yung VAT or monthly. May optional 8% na 4 times mo lang ipafile. Yes. So, what my point is, you don't need to fear it. You don't need to to uh, to worry that BIR will run after you. Kasi the fact na 3 million and below ka, hindi ka priority ng BIR. Pero pag hindi ka nag-comply, hindi ka nag-register, at may nagsumbong sa'yo, then you become a target. Hmm. Kaya paalala po doon sa mga sa mga influencers, sa mga YouTubers na mahilig pang mag-post ng kanilang tour, house tour. I'm telling you, B, I, 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 I should not be saying this, but they are monitoring it. <laughs> I am part of that group that's being consulted by BIR. I sit with them. We talk about this. Even sa Congress, sa the Tax Committee, I, I joined DTI BIR. I'm part of the Ease of Doing Business Task Force on paying taxes. Ako ang co-chair ng BIR. We talk about these things. Uh-huh. If you don't want to pay taxes, hide yourself. <laughs> do not do not brag Mountain. about your new house or new cars kasi hindi ka naman registered. Tapos, pa naman YouTubers na napakita na. For sure may nainggit sa'yo. Oh. One tip, one information to any BIR official or examiner. Eh, wala naman. Tagal ko nang pinotion. Bakit nagmamadali ba si BIR? <laughs> Malay mo, sa April 16 ka kasuhan. Yeah. Remember, ang kanilang power to assess and collect is only if they realize, if they only uh, learn about the info today, they have 10 years to prosecute you or to collect taxes. 10 years. So, RD Miriam, they can ignore you now. Yeah. And after 20 years, that's the only time that they will learn, Uy, ito pala si Mon Abrea, eh, mayroong online show at tumanggap ng $100,000 noong 1992. Ganun. Can they still assess this? Yes. Kasi nalaman lang nila that time. Hmm. Eh, yung, ano ang point ko, RD Miriam? Eh, diba ang mga, ang mga online, it's forever uploaded? Yeah. Oo nga. Hmm. Meron, big pa YouTube, pa. meron pa naman mga YouTubers na sinasabi, how much do you earn? Oh. Exactly. One million. And, and, and we're not scaring them. We're reminding them. We need to be responsible. Especially if we, ha- we are influencers. Huwag naman na pagdating sa tax, iwas tayo. Pag magyayabang ng bagong bahay o kinita, Hmm. Ang galing natin. Let's be responsible kasi that's that's that is what is fair. Everyone should have a share. Employees are paying taxes, hmm. So if, whether you're influencer, online seller, mompreneur, ito na nga binigyan ko na nga kayo ng mga tip, eh, 3 million and below, 250,000 and below. There are ways to avoid it legally. Yeah. There are ways not to pay taxes legally. Right. Diba? Tax avoidance, hindi tax evasion. Yes. And remember, not registering, not uh, not being registered is a form of tax evasion. Not filing your tax returns. Eh, mon zero naman, wala kami kinita buong 2020. Magpa-file ka pa rin. No yes. payment return. Hmm. If you fail to file it, BIR can file, tax, can sue you with tax evasion or uh, they can use it against you kasi dapat nag-file ka pa rin. Eh, paano piso lang yung, ano, yung due? Hindi ko na final. Hmm. Eh, yung piso mo, magkakaroon pa ng penalty sa ng hmm. interest. Diba? So, <laughs> It, the simple way of dealing with it, just comply. Just fine. Learn and comply. Yeah. Okay. Dito sa TaxWiz uh, PH app, can you file your, your returns? To this? Yes. The good news is all individual taxpayers, specifically yung magpa-file, uh, starting today until April 15, they can file 1701A. Ito yung mga nag-8%. Alam mo, RD Miriam, marami tayong mga kaibigan sa entertainment industry. Na even before the lockdown, masisipag lang pero 3 million and below ang mga revenues. Optional 8% ang pinagamit namin sa kanila. And the best part, they don't need uh, accountants and bookkeepers anymore. Kasi di ba yung iba, from 1,000 to 10,000 nagbabayad monthly. You can save that because yeah. you don't need it anymore under optional 8% and just use the app, one click, pa, 
file. Tapos, you're done. Diba? So, again, knowing what is in the law will save us more money. Mm-hmm. Rather than simp- uh, blindly avoiding it. Ayoko niya, ayoko niya. O, good luck sa'yo. Ano ba inaayawan mo? Baka mamaya, baka mamaya yung multo, gawa-gawa mo lang. Hindi naman totoo. Nakakatakot. Speaking of celebrities and influencers, ano, marami kasi mga celebrities na dati, before pandemic, ang, lalak- ang tataas ng kita, tapos batable. Eh, what if pagdating ng pandemya, Uh, hindi na nila kinita yung ganong kalaki. Pa- how can they avoid they being battled? Nick, kung dating battable sila, kung dating tapos battable, bumaba na yung income, income. Yes. pwede pa ba bumalik sa 8%? Yes, they can uh, they can write a letter to their RDO and request for um, uh, update of their tax information from VAT to non-VAT. That is allowed by law. May ano ba yun? Merong period of time ba before they can do that? Actually, dapat the moment na na-realize mo, for your benefit. Kasi mm-hmm. halimbawa, uh, sabi mo, uh, Miriam, noong 2020 pa, pero hindi naman siya nag-update or nagpalit noong 2020. Ngayon, 2021 lang. Sayang, kasi sana noong 2020 pa lang, non-VAT na siya. Kasi kung kailan ka nagpalit, dun lang prospective eh. Kung kailan ka nag-update, dun lang mag apply yung 3%. So hanggat hindi ka nag update kasi hindi mo alam pwede pala. O hindi 12% ang 12% binabayaran mo. Eh, in-update mo lang today. O, oh, moving forward, 3% na lang. Nan, sa, in short, BIR will not automatically update or shift your registration from VAT to non-VAT. But, the non-VAT registered taxpayers are automatically converted to VAT the moment na, 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 na lagpasan nila yung 3 million threshold. Ulit ha, kapag non-VAT ka po, below 3 million ka, bigla kang lumagpas ng 3 million, automatic yung system ng BIR, gagawin kang subject to VAT. Pero pag VATable ka, bumagsak yung sa revenue mo, hindi ka automatic i-convert sa nan but Medyo unfair, no? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes life is unfair. Who <laughs> got? So you have to, ano, to take the responsibility for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not naman bawal. The good news is, you can. You may. Just do it. Just uh, ch- update your registration. The tax with uh, PH app is it ano? Is it just for sole proprietors and uh, yes, single? Yes, exclusive for individual taxpayers. Because our target natin tulungan yung 23 million registered individual taxpayers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So buy it, talaga. Buy buy it, talaga. No, I mean go through the process. Not necessarily pay whatever they're assessing. Go through the process. Merong ka, merong ka pa namang isa pang option eh. Ah, uh, compromise settlement or abatement. It's not um, it's not amnesty. It's a uh, regulation. So go through the process kapag hindi ka pa rin agree sa assessment nila, you can write the commissioner and uh, and challenge the assessment under yeah, yeah. doubtful assessment. So yeah, ibig sabihin, yeah. para sa mga nakikinig, uh, uh, ako yung examiner binigyan kita toto ng assessment na 10 million. Sabi mo joke 'yan. O sulat ka kay commissioner, the assessment is a joke. O that okay. qualifies under doubtful assessment. Or, may isa pang option, wala kang pera. Dahil sa pandemia, zero ka. Right, the commissioner, I have 10 million assessment, but I don't have cash right now, and I'm signing a waiver so that I can avail of the abatement or compromise settlement. So, dalawa po, either doubtful yung assessment or illiquid ka or finan- may financial incapacity ka to pay. Okay, so two, doubtful or financial, financial incapacity but the financial incapacity will require signing of waiver of bank secrecy meaning kailangan ma-access nila yung bank account mo na makita talaga nila na na, na, na wala ka ng pambayad dun sa assessment because of the pandemic okay so another question with regards to that siguro last question din ito yung mga kasi uh, there are certain things na when we Uh, you know, uh, put into our expenses na nadidisallow kasi sabi nila walang pangalan ng company at walang team. Now, most of the disallowance namin is coming from yung mga sub. Like for example, uh, meron kaming mga expenses of course uh, North Express, South Express uh, Highway na gumaga- bu- nagbabayad lang kami ng ano, toll fee. So, naka-attach yun. Tapos yung mga parking fees ng aming mga delivery at yung salesperson namin. Uh, yun. 
Tapos yung gas kuminsan ay eh, siyempre ano naman tab yun. So uh, kuminsan sa probinsya kuminsan eh, hindi hindi nga mailagay yung mga pangalan eh, mga driver lang. Eh, sabi nila batas daw yun eh. So disallowed. So, so it's lahat, not really batas. It's a regulation. It's not so, batas. It's regulation. So, so, so I lahat, have two answers. I have two answers for that. Number okay. one, okay. Um, if, if you really want to claim it as a corporate or company expense, okay. the idea is use corporate credit card. Like uh, we also have that RFID, but it's charged to our corporate credit card. Because okay. whatever goes through or goes to the billing statement of a credit card, kahit withholding tax, hindi ka pwedeng i-assess ni BIR. Kasi mm -hmm. it's already billed by the credit card company. Uh -huh. So you can just withhold when you pay uh, the credit card company. But you uh -huh. don't, kasi normally ang problem, actually, ma ma minor pa nga yung problem mo, yung kar karamihan sa mga logistics company, uh, ang tawag doon, they want the, uh, the company to withhold sa mga gas station, sa toll, which is impossible. I mean, nagkarga ka sa kanto. Hindi mo naman kilala kung sino yun. Paano mo naman withholdan yun? Diba? So, yun nga, but tama. if you use credit card, you are allowed to not withhold, but withhold to sa credit card company. Number two, uh, we also encounter that. In fact, may number three problem na hindi mo na-raise. Yung mga online. Like yung mga Airbnb and uh, uh, so on and so forth na email notification. But I'll go there after number two. So other than using corporate credit card, which legitimizes the expense, and you can just withhold uh, when you pay the Doing credit card that. company. Yung number two is, if you have calling card, create an OR card. Meaning, wherever you go, make sure that, uh, especially if infrequent or random, halimbawa, bigla kang napapunta dito sa gas station sa kanto. Beginning. When you pay, Give the credit card, the OR, OR card, card OR with card. your name, or a TIN number, and the address. Address, address okay. itang naloob, huwag yun naman buuin, pati yung unit number. May kli lang. Why? Tinatamad yes, yes, yes. sila Now, pag frequent, pag frequent buyer ka naman or uh, 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 vendee, meaning uh, madalas doon, supplier mo na siya talaga, okay. even sa mall, you can already register your TIN number sa kanila. You mm -hmm. don't know this, I, lahat ng malls, you can go to their customer service and tell them all our expenses. Dapat pag pinrid mo yung uh, POS uh, receipt na yan, nakaprint na rin ang company name ko, ang TIN, at ang kung ano mang kailangan. They can do that. So like kami, most of our supplies dito sa office, dito sa isang mall na malapit sa amin, yung department store mismo, uh, basta binigay namin yung pangalan, automatic pag-print niya, nandun na. Although may isa kang option, manual receipt. Mm. Meaning, pag pinrintan ka ng POS, yung lumalabas sa POS, you can go to customer service. Ang problem, pipila ka na naman. Mm. Diba? Mm. So, might as well um, have it printed right away. Ngayon, paano kung nabura? Bawal na po yung mga receipt na makintab. Dapat mm. ang lumalabas sa POS magaspang. Or mm. meaning, hindi nabubura. Right. Kasi nga, hindi mo obligasyong i-photocopy yun. Ano yan, practice siya ng mga, ng mga lumang accountant na pinopotocopy lahat. I mean, it's it, it's not part of our business cost to photocopy all documents. That, diba? that, so, yeah. What is important is that we secure the official receipt. That is the one required by the regulation. Mm -hmm. Then, yung pangatlo, yung sa mga online, uh, I think that remains a super gray area. Like Facebook ads, Airbnb, uh, we receive nothing except email not notification. Uh, mm -hmm. If I were you, just claim it as part of miscellaneous expenses and uh, just attach the email uh, because there's still no rule on that. Katulad po yan ng mga Zoom aming uh, expenses eh. Kasi ngayon, yeah. uh, oh, so nagbabayad kami na lang yun na. Yung, yung corporate yeah. credit card. Supposedly, dapat accredited din kasi yung mga electronic receipt eh. But okay. right now, wala pa rin talaga eh. Okay. Maraming salamat po. Napaka informative. Thank you. Thank you, Toto. Thank, Thank you. Tsaka, as extension of that, Mon, how about since everybody's working from home, are uh, expenses that are incurred at home considered uh, now a business expense? For example, if you buy, buy uh, food in the supermarket to feed your staff or your yes. selves, when, is it considered? As always, we have to substantiate it. As long as there is a policy that allows reimbursement or charging of those expenses and that the receipts are under the name of the registered company, 
Yes, mm. you may do that. Okay. So if you're a mompreneur or you're based at home, you're a small entrepreneur, you can use that naman, no? Yes, yes. Okay. Kasi honestly, as long as you uh, ask for a receipt. Uh -oh. Actually, ang sinabi naman sa ano, let, let us be clear on this, ha? hindi naman sinabi uh, sa batas na business expense, eh. ang sinabi necessary. Hmm. Necessary in doing business. Magkaiba yun. Hmm. The, the necessary is judgment ng may-ari. Hmm. Diba BIR cannot decide for you like si Miriam, if she's working as a mompreneur, she will have uh, expenses that only her can decide and can incur. So hmm. BIR cannot say na, nako Miriam, hindi ka pwede mag-charge ng makeup. Bakit? Lumalabas ako sa Zoom, I need to be beautiful. Hmm. O then Miriam can charge the makeup. Hmm. Yeah. Seriously? Hmm. Oo. Oh. Oh, di ba natuwa ang Miriam? Tsaka bibili pa daw ng makeup. <laughs> so charge pa. Di ba? Necessary ang nasa regulation. Whatever is necessary in doing your business or practice of profession, you can charge. I charge my suit. All my suits. I charge it to the, the office. Because it's necessary. Otherwise, I'll be shirt wearing shirt. So I need this too. I need this too. What about, ano, what about eating healthy food? Yes. If, if, you, if, if it is a program of the company and the like like in our office we we prepare healthy foods for everyone not just because of the pandemic and we charge it to uh, our expenses to make sure everyone is healthy oh, oh, diba? health mga health supplements diba syempre yes. everyone healthy especially during the pandemic hmm. we bought a lot of all this uh, protocol uh, equipment etc yes it's all chargeable and before lockdown it's not even an expense that we incur Diba? So the necessary is something we decide as the owner, as the entrepreneur, not VAR. We just have to substantiate it. We just have to make sure it's documented. So if you put those receipts in the tax suisse, diba sa tax suisse PH app, you take yes. a picture of the receipt, you mm -hmm. upload it. Actually, so you... actually the, the, the app naman will not disallow any expense. Oh, diba? Kahit nga mali yung resibong malagay mo dun, ika-capture niya eh. Kasi it's really your responsibility to make sure the receipt is official. Right. Diba? I mean, it's it's appropriate or it's it's uh, uh, necessary. So, pero um, dapat self-check. You don't, no one will yeah. check it in the app yeah. except you. And the later receipt, on, yes. oh, oh. pero mag-check ba ng BIR yun, yung mga receipts that are uploaded in the app? No, if the only time is when you get audited. Lagi naman ganun eh. We can claim whatever expense, honestly. Right. But when we get audited, we should be ready to uh, defend or uh, prove, show the show proof that mm -hmm. we have complied. Okay. O, meron pang isang question si Maan. Sabi si Maan de Ocampo. Uh, may nabangit ka kasi 3 million threshold kanina, di ba? So, uh -huh. ang tanong niya, does that apply for all consolidated businesses of an individual? Hmm. Like si Miriam, meron siyang hosting, meron siyang... Uh, mompreneur stuff, meron siya mga... May community selling ako, meron yeah. akong Airbnb and stuff. Yes, kasi yung ano, yung unless it's a corporate entity, kaya kaya kami na-advise din namin na yung iba, uh, kapag ka medyo marami ka ng ventures, uh, you consider yung one-person corporation or another entity. Kasi kapag personal, alba ako, consolidated eh. So, maapektuhan talaga yung threshold. Lalagpas ka talaga because you have a lot of uh, sources. Kaya even some celebrities, we incorporated already companies for them, including Kennedy. Meron na siyang one-person corporation. So that yung other activities niya, doon yeah. na papato. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, okay. So, hindi na siya 8%. Kailangan na niya ng ano. Uh Oo. -oh. Pag lumagpas na 3 million, kasi malinaw yung batas eh. 3 million talaga eh. It's 3 million really plus. Yeah, gross talaga eh. Oh. So kapag under one name talaga, eh, makakonsolidate siya. Except if it is compensation. Diba? But if it's uh, business income or sales, makakonsolidate talaga siya. Okay. There's another question from Raymond. Sabi niya, I have a registered corporation under BIR and SEC. BIR requires me to make a physical ledger containing details of all receipts slash purchases by the corporation. BIR won't allow us to submit digital ledger because we are a small corporation. Is this correct? It would be more convenient for us to submit digital ledger. So you're not telling me. No, you can quote me on this. You can uh, write them a letter and uh, apply for loose leaf, meaning you can use your Excel or spreadsheet files as your ledger and books. So um, 
it's it's uh, Jurassic na yan, it's kumawa yung langit. Uh, in one of our discussions, I'm actually pro, uh, proposing to abolish those books of accounts. Sabi ko, pinayaman nyo lang yung mga bookstore sa pagtitinda ng mga kolumnar. Sabi ko, meron ng Excel, meron ng spreadsheet. It's not, it's not long. So the answer is, no, you can use Excel and spreadsheet provided you inform BIR that you want to avail loose leaf. It's called loose leaf method. Hmm. Kaya loose leaf kasi walang kolumnar na gagamitin. So, And what if I was registered under the loose leaf? Um, transition by writing a letter to the RDO that from manual bo uh, books of accounts, you want to use the loose leaf. What if I want to use uh, accounting software from manual or loose leaf, write a letter that you will use accounting software. Kasi yung difference naman ng accounting software, doon na talaga lahat. Kasi diba yung Excel spreadsheet, tinatypan mo lang. But that file becomes your books of accounts. Hmm. You just print it at the end of the year and have it stamped sa BIR. Meaning to make it official, yung naka-book bound na. Ganon. Ah, so magpiprint out ka pa rin. Ayun. Kasi, kasi kung ayaw mo mag-print out, uh, ID, doon ka sa pangatlo. Accounting okay. software. Ah. Yes. Yung si Taxus PH app, aabot tayo doon. That's what we're working on with BIR na lahat ng mga papasok na records sa uh, app will also become your official most of accounts. But not yet now, kasi hindi pa sila ready sa mobile. So, nandun pa lang sila sa uh, desktop or laptop na software. But so we, are an, already, we are already proposing that. So, as an individual taxpayer, are you saying that we have to print out everything from the app? No, no, not, not from the app, the, the, the Excel, the spreadsheet. Yeah. For as your books of accounts. Kasi nga, tatlo lang yung option nyo, ID Miriam. Hmm. Either columnar, hmm. Loose leaf or Excel na ipiprint or accounting software. Wala pang app doon. Si app is literally for computation, for filing, for uh, deadlines, etc. Hmm. Buti nga pinayagan na nila si app before ayaw nila mag-accredit ng app. Kasi sinasabi nila is baka hindi reliable and all. Meaning, they're skeptic. We have to understand. Kasi they are the revenue collection agency. They don't want any software or system to hack their system and uh, distort, distort all the uh, data, di ba? So aside from the app, it's clear you need to still keep a books of account. A book of account. Yes. Either right. manual na columnar, loose leaf, Excel, uh, printed Excel or spreadsheet, or accounting software. Oh. An accounting software do you recommend? Or... Actually, I don't recommend any software kasi uh, BIR will be the one to uh, audit it anyway. Um, the, the development now is hindi mo na kailangang ipa-accredit yung software. You can use it right away, but BIR can do audit anytime. Kung yung software or system na ginagamit mo is aligned kay BIR. Yung mga suppliers naman, they know that. Whatever accounting software you're using, they know that they need to comply. Kasi ganun din yung app eh. We complied with accreditation. Nagpa-accredit din kami. Kasi nga, we, there's a, there's, there are so many regulations eh. Like for instance, yung calculator natin, iayabang ko lang, R.D. Miriam. Yung calculator dito, pag pinindot mo, para na para na yung binasa yung tax code. Automatic yung kinocompute. Hindi siya calculator na 1 times 1 etc. hindi. Pag tinay halimbawa, pag pumunta ka dun sa ano sa app. Yeah, pag pumunta ka sa app, you can press calculator. Pag pinress mo yung calculator, papipiliin ka niya kung employed ka ba o self-employed. Yeah. Pag pinress mo yung, uh, yung employed, tatanungin ka niya monthly ba, weekly, uh, by monthly ang sweldo mo. Halimbawa, pinili mo monthly. Ita-type mo lang kung magkano yung sweldo mo. Let's say, ang sweldo mo, 30,000. Okay. Then, press calculate. Automatic o compute niya. Kung magkano yung income tax mo, withholding mo, magkano SSS pag-ibig bill help mo. Hmm. By just pressing compute or calculate. Hmm. And ganun din sa self-employed. Automatic niya yung compute Hindi siya yung, ano, yung meron pang pipili mo pa yung tax rate, anong provision, anong, no. The tax calculator is a wizard on itself. It computes automatically. So, ganun siya ka, ano? ganun siya ka... Parang meron ka Mon Abrea sa phone mo. Diba? Hindi ka mas magaling nga siya sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> may hina ako sa computation. <laughs> Mag-familiar lang ako sa regulation pero may hina na ako mag-compute. <laughs> oh, meron question pa, Abby. You... Uh, galing kay Amy Uy. Sabi niya, hi. We got an LOA to submit our sales records for audit for the year 2019. They wanted us to submit original documents. 
ay nilang tanggapin ng photocopy. But we don't want to give the original because we need those for proof later on if they say na may kulang sa mga records or nawawalang invoice, journal, etc. Are we required to submit original documents? We have several branches, so medyo maraming records, but we are willing to photocopy instead of bringing all to BIR. Previous years, they audited in our office, but now at the BIR office. So when you, have two, you have two options. Number one, write the RDO a letter um, to request that they uh, audit in your office, which they will not allow diba? because of the pandemic. But that's an option, meaning we, we always try that. Number two, instead of photocopying uh, USB. Screenshot. Next. No, USB, USB. Request that uh, you can give a soft copy mm -hmm. of your sales and purchases. USB. Para hindi, para hindi na photocopy. Para hindi photocopy. But again, you have to request this in writing. Kasi pagkakausap mo na examiner, ang tendency, pagka-inconvenience sa examiner, they just don't allow. Right. But the thing is, it's a public service. It's mm -hmm. not something that they, they treat us like criminals, that they, we will cheat on them. Hindi pwedeng ganun. That's why you have to keep writing kasi that gives them a certain uh, feel that mm -hmm. you're doing it in good faith. Hindi mo gusto mang isa o mandaya. So, request them to visit your office which they may not allow or request for na soft copy yung ibigay nyo. So, when you say write to the RDO, so you have, number one, you have to know who the RDO is. Which you can Google, BIR website, bir.gov.ph. You can Google right away kung sino yung RDO. And number two, is it uh, write an e write a letter by email or can lang physically print out? You can uh, most of them, most of them a Facebook page at my email address. You can email, then call. Mm -hmm. This is my advice to all our viewers. Don't just shoot an email as if best friend mo siya. <laughs> Send an email and ask somebody to call so that mm -hmm. they check the email mm -hmm. and acknowledge that they have received it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, para ka nag-email sa star. Baka, <laughs> baka wala mag-reply. Baka ma-scene-zoned ka lang. Ayun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> may follow-up question si Maande Ocampo Ignacio. Sabi niya, if I already have books of accounts stamped by BIR, can I print my Excel sheet and paste it onto the columnar? I was informed before that it should be handwritten if on a columnar. No, you can't do that because the again that long op, um, options. Pag kulum na gamit mo, it's the Jurassic manual way. If you don't want to write, write them a letter that you do the loose tip. You don't need to paste it in the columnar. You can just disregard the columnar and print the Excel or spreadsheet, but you need to write them. They need to approve it that yes, I'm allowing you RD. Just print your spreadsheet. Or ayaw mo mag-print. Ayaw ni RD mag-print. Si Miriam, magagalit ang mga puno. Use accounting software. Or antayin yung payagan nila kami na yung capture data ng app, parehas na ng software, hindi yeah. na kailangan. Okay. But right Discreet now, na yun lang yung option. Oh, software. Natin. Oh, yes. Diba? Samahan natin ng dasal, pero huwag matigas ang ulo. Hindi mo pwedeng i-paste doon sa <laughs> kolumna. Kasi ang nakalagay sa regulation, hand written. Alam nyo ba, R.D. Miriam, dumating sa point na may intern kami, pinagsusulat lang namin sa libro. Ganon! Oh, 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 Because that was the time na ayaw payagan ni BIR yung loose leaf. Ini-ignore niya kami. Parang three years yata bago niya in-approve. Parang ganon. But now they are approving, they are allowing it. They are allowing it ulit. Finally. So, so if you call the BIR, naka-work from home ba sila? O lahat mga pasok sa office? No, may ano, uh, hybrid. May naka-work from home, may mga pasok. So if you email and then call to follow up, meron naman sasagot. Yes, yes. Meron na. Yeah, we do that. We do that uh, almost every day. Uh, we, we call them. In fact, ngayon, they are more, they are more responsive sa email because of the pandemic. Very good. Sige, so, I think we have reached our uh, time limit and I know you are very, very busy. Alam ko, may date ka pa pagkatapos nito. <laughs> Sana, <laughs> di ba? Sana all. <laughs> Wala namang binigay si Ninang Miriam. Nag-aantay kaya ako ng appointment. Sabi ko, kailan ang appointment natin? Wala wala ako natanggap na appointment. Tapos ang nagkulat ko, natanggap ko interview. Pati interview, ini-interview na ba ba? <laughs> ano to? 
Prenup ba to? Ano meron ba na interview? Ah, interview pala para sa show nyo. Sabi ko, ba't na ganun yung ninong at ninang ko? Ang inaantay ko yung dinner date, yung appointment. Eh, ganun talaga. Busy din tayong lahat. So, baka naman sa ating uh, viewers, audience, PM nyo lang ako. PM is the thing. Baka may interesado sa inyo dyan. Baka sa inyo. Inang. Inang o. May app na ako. Na-launch ko na yung app ko. Pwede na akong tumahimik. Kailan pa daw ma-approve ng BIA? Oo. Three years ago when we're talking about this, ito talaga yung pangarap ko na to really empower every Filipino and uh, maging digital talaga. And uh, unfortunately, kailangan magka-lockdown para mag-move oh, na mabilis. But in, in God's time, with God's grace, at least it's happening now. Kaya to all our viewers, uh, I won't ask you to hold on. I'll ask you to keep praying because we are seeing already reforms. But we need to keep pushing it. And we need to keep supporting it. Hindi pwedeng pinush lang natin pero wala tayong pakialam after. So we need to be part of it. We need to be involved. And we need to give our share. And uh, dun po sa mga ano, single, PM nyo lang po ako. Charing lang. Hindi lang kasi eh. Hindi na. Pray nyo rin na. Kasama yan sa responsibility nyo as my future Nino at Nina. Yes. Sige. Yes talaga. Maasahan mo kami dyan. Siguro sabi ni Lord, ano eh, kailangan mong tapusin tong or post na to bago ka bigyan ng ako asawa. Ako lahat. Ako lahat. <laughs> Ikaw ang superhero namin eh. Sa Grabe naman. Anyway, we continue Lapit doing na. what we're doing because we uh, we believe that God is with us and that uh, uh, that He will make sure uh, we'll be able to help more people. Diba? Hindi lang, hindi lang, hindi lang to be honest, but to be worthy of offering it to Him. Diba? Ang hirap naman i-offer mo yung deeds mo kung dinaya mo or yung yung uh, tights mo kung dinaya mo. Hindi <laughs> mo pala binayad sa gobyerno, binigay mo na lang doon. So I think uh, it's really making sure na masanctify natin lahat ng ginagawa natin so that we can really offer it to Him. So, i-offer ko na lang din sa sarili ko. Parang wala ko <laughs> na dito sa lupa. Joke lang. <laughs> so Mon, before we end, can we have last words from you and let us know where they can reach you? Yeah, any program yeah. that you want to plug or any event? Yes. So, uh, hello guys. I am uh, Mona Brea. Um, I, I, I'm really a tax advocate more than an accountant and a, and a tax consultant. So, if you want to know more about uh, taxes in the Philippines and we want to know how we can help you, uh, we have actually launched Tax with PH Digital Solutions. So, we have a YouTube channel, Tax with PH. We have a mobile app, Tax with PH. And we have an online academy, Tax with PH, all for free. So I don't know how and why we're doing this, but I honestly think uh, there's a reason and uh, we are happy, we are very excited in seeing that more people are asking questions on taxes and are being helped and are being encouraged to pay their taxes correctly and on time. And with the use of Tax with PH app, you can do it anytime and anywhere and it's free. I think that's the best news. So you can also visit our website, www.tcg.ph if you want to get help on your BIR cases. Uh, I think if there's one thing that I want to share with you, we can fix any tax problems, even during a crisis with honor and integrity. We will never ask you to compromise or to, uh, to uh, tarnish your good name. We will make sure we also preserve and protect you and give you peace of mind. And if you want to learn more about the app, you can visit the taxwiz.ph. So we have a regular Monday show for BIR, Bureau of Internal Revenue Philippines, in your Facebook page. Nila. It's called BIR in Action. Every 3 p.m. Opo, pinaku po ako. Monday 3 p.m. Ako po ang host ng show nila. We answer any questions related to taxes about the uh, reforms, tax reforms, and any regulations sa BIR uh, in action live na program. And uh, ayun, you can also Yon, drop a copy of our best-selling book. It's Iwas Buisit. It's still available in all digital platforms. I think Lazada, Shopee, uh, ABS-CBN.com uh, pero mas best-seller syempre si Pogi, si RD. So, <laughs> ito. Ako, nakasingit lang. Kung baga sa ranking, umabot si Lede. Pero talaga, ang bestseller, ayan, si Idol, si RD. Di ba no, Miriam? Iba eh. Iba talaga ang RD. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sold, uh, sold na. 
na so uh, ay so uh, uh, may ari na may may ari na pero yung so, libro pwede pa pwede oh pwede pa yung libro ako po kahit hindi na po yung libro ako na lang po <laughs> so, yun guys i hope this can help you so that you, like me you can smile when you talk and hear about taxes so right kung salamat you can follow us in social media tax with speech as the tax with ecg it's where we're everywhere so Thank you very much. Thank you, Ninong Ninang. Sakto, so, sakto. Napaka, napaka prolific naman itong si Mon Abrea. No? So there you have it, guys. Uh, we've heard from Mon Abrea himself. And you know, uh, I hope you took note of how and where you can reach him. Once again, thank you, Mon, for taking this time. We know you're very busy, but you still managed to give us uh, actually more than an hour of your time. You know, And enlighten. And many of our viewers today. Yeah. So we'll close with a closing prayer. We will pray for you online right now. That's okay. So yeah. So let's do that. We'll pray for one. We'll also pray for the leadership in the BIR. Okay? okay. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this time that you have blessed us with to, to fellowship and discuss important matters. Um, we don't owe anything to my Lord. Everything belongs to you. We just want to honor and we just want to praise you through um, the good stewardship of the money, including paying taxes. So, Lord, we pray for the leadership in the BIR. May you give them wisdom. Uh, may you give them um, just the right conscience and leadership to do what is right and to uh, uh, lead the Philippines, Lord. And may there be a miracle, like, like the one said, that there will be a new generation and uh, existing leadership that will rise, that will lead uh, cleanly, that will lead. And show, the, and show the Filipino people that they can be trusted. And uh, so, Lord, we, we uh, alam namin mga pangako mo ay hindi na papako. So we claim everything, Lord, that you have promised that you will never leave us, that you will work all things for good. And Lord, we also lift up to you our brother Mon. We pray that you will continue to protect him, give him good health, and give him uh, his partner in life, Lord, who will take care of him, who will love him and support his and, su and support plan. his uh, passion and advocacy, Lord. So, nainit na kami maging ninong ninang. So, Lord, uh, maybe sooner rather than later. <laughs> and, and so, we thank you, Lord, for everything. Uh, all blessings come from you. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Walang sabi ko sana, may nag-text na. May joke na. May less. May less. Thank you very much, Ninong Ninang, and looking forward to have dinner with you. Okay, magalala, COVID-free ako, kakaswab test ko lang. <laughs> ako rin, ako rin. Ah, talaga? Ay, hindi oh, oh. pala, antigen lang pala yung sa akin. Pero bukit oh, oh. ko kayaan, COVID-free. <laughs> ah, ako din. Nag-swab test because we did a live uh, streaming with Nadine, and we went to her condo. I saw so that. Nag-luto kayo. Uh, kami, uh, ano, swab test kaming lahat. <laughs> Yon, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. you soon. So yeah, next time, face to face dinner yeah. with, with that. Thank you guys, uh, to all our viewers, to all those who join us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.